morning everybody welcome back to the channel today's the day we're really going to get started on the chicken coop daughter misty showed up her and robin has got to go dispose of or not dispose of transfer the residence of the newest uh trapped coon we uh robin got one last night it is over in this building right now in the cage and they're going to be going to release it i'm assuming in the same place the one in the other video got released whether they're related or not we don't know probably uh we thought it was the big coon but it's it's not it's another small one uh, she seems to think the big one's still here but what i'm doing right now is bringing some of the the last bit of the dense grade that was on uh, kind of mixed in with the ground down there i don't want to put it on my driveway so we came up with the idea of using it in the ditch here turn the camera around building a new trench and putting posts in for the chicken coop so we're going to mix it and tamp it around each post when we go to put it in once that stuff sets up it's kind of like concrete so that's where we're at right now so let's get started I've just taken care of a few different things with the uh, you know, John Deere today. I'm taking some rock up there to Robin's new chicken pen location. And I'm also, uh, I've, I've filmed in it, filled in this area right here. Yeah, 
if you've seen any of the other driveway videos you've seen that place where it dips way down uh, and I just threw some number four in there I know I've still got to work the driveway I'm just getting tired of looking at it and it's still gonna be a little while before we work the driveway so now I'm gonna go over here in a bit and see about moving my lawnmower deck Okay, I'm going to explain to you, or try to explain to you why I'm doing this like this. My mower deck is actually designed, let me get over here, yeah, this might help a little bit. It's designed to where you drive your front tires over those two like green brackets there <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> and then when you drive over it this bar right here latches on to a hook underneath and then it has a cotter pin that locks in on the back as it goes into your pto shaft right there so the reason that I'm doing it like this is the situation I'm going to be in eventually with my my lean-to because I, I don't want to have to leave enough room to drive over it so I'm going to try for right now I'm just going to put it over here in, by the garden but what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to create a way that I can quickly just pick it up and move it out from the lean to and then do the quick uh, attach like I just explained to you um, but we're also contemplating selling the mower deck simple reason is Robin usually cuts most of the grass and the grass I usually cut I usually weed eat I do some of the push mowing places that the riding mowers really shouldn't be in so we're really not even using this uh, so we're thinking about selling it um, so we don't even have to have it in the way not sure yet so I'm gonna try to put it when I get my lean-to built I'm gonna put it up against uh, like the building wall that way it's not in the way because if I leave, if I um, if I store it to where I could drive over it, uh, it's going to take up the whole lean to almost. So I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to see if this will work as a quick way. I know I've uh, I've got it under these brackets and they're welded on. I don't think they'll they'll bend. Uh, with both of them hooked under there, it should be all right. I know I've watched one video. I can't remember who it was, so I'm not going to say who I think it was. But they had tried at one time to pick it up by that bar and bend it. So they, uh, they didn't recommend doing that. Which you look at it, you think it would work. But I'm not going to attempt that. So let's see what's going to happen here in a second when I pick this up. so good.
was going to put it over by the garden. But I decided that might be in the way of like driving the gator and everything. So I'm sitting it down right here. I got the camera set up where my canopy is going to be, my lean to. So anyway, it did good. It did not. I was, what you're concerned with is bending the brackets on the mower deck and they are just fine. So that's what we'll do for now. Then when the lean to is done, I'll park it. I'll do the same thing and I'll park it right up next to the building. Then if I ever decide to use it, I can hook it up like this, bring it out of the, the, the important, the, the catcher to this thing is, uh, is you don't really think about it at the time, but it has to be sitting on level ground. So when you drive over it, everything matches up right. Your, your PTO shaft, your hookups, they all have to line up underneath the tractor right so if the tractor is not if the deck's not sitting level it won't be able to do that so and there's there's not a whole lot of level ground around here now granted when i first got it i wasn't very experienced at it but where i just moved it from that was the most level piece of ground i, I had but now with all the driveway done like this it should be all right to just uh do it out here uh, i'll know when the time comes but right now uh, i don't need the deck on there and i've got other things to do so it was important. I'm glad this worked out. Now it's going to help out a lot. Those bolt-on hooks are coming in handy already. All right, this is a wood chipper we bought. Still have not had a chance to get it started yet, so I'm going to do that today. This is uh, we bought this at Lowe's. So your local Lowe's will have the same exact thing, should. This is the OPC 533. And uh, what we're gonna do with it is we're gonna use it for mulching around here. I think I've mentioned it in videos before how we, uh, we have a lot of brush around here and we're gonna have more and uh, burning is not an option not a lot of the times. We haven't burned anything yet, um, but we don't wanna <clears throat> risk uh, uh, catching the woods on fire. And uh, we have, do seem to have a lot of burned bands around here. Uh, uh, the last one we had was in April and it was, you weren't supposed to burn any fire within 150 foot of a tree line. Well, this whole bottom that uh, that we're living on is in, in any direction is pretty much less than 150 yards. So uh, we haven't really burned anything. We got stuff piled up. So we anyway, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. We wanna do mulching like on the gardens and certain pathways. We wanna put mulch down and try to help with the mud. So we're gonna, hopefully this is gonna take care of that. Um, so let's take a little closer look at, at uh, our chipper here. All right, this is the bag of, of goodies that comes with our wood chipper. Uh, instruction book, assembly guide. Probably won't read that. <laughs> assembly guide, and you've got the, it's got a Col Kohler RH series motor on it. And so it's a six and a half horsepower motor. Um, tells you the oil fill ports. We're going to be taking care of that. Comes with a little, I guess you can call them gloves, like nylon gloves to wear. Give you a pair of goggles to wear. I got safety glasses. With it. Goggles to wear. And there's a cover for it, which we're keeping it in the building, so it's all good to have. There's the oil we'll be needing <clears throat> 10W30 for cycle engine oil. So we'll be putting that in there. There's a bag of those 
popcorn things that comes with it. <laughs> Not sure what that is. Not going to uncover right now. Not sure. But, so I'm sure we'll figure that out. And some earplugs. If you want earplugs, covering all the bases here, aren't they? And then some wrenches that we'll be needing. So Allen wrench and two different size uh, metric wrenches. There we go. So that all comes with the witches. Yeah. This looks like this is going to be the clean out for it. If you get um, wood jam here or whatever. Pretty self explanatory. It's going to be a clean out for it. And then it looks like this access panel is going to be maybe if that was to come loose i'm not sure again i'm sure we'll find out now you can lock that to where it's not going to come uh, come loose may have to get me a, a lock to put on that Okay, one of the things I have noticed right off the bat is the oil, oil uh, fillers. There's one right there. And then, check this one out. Right against... Right against that chute. No way you could get to that. But it tells you in the instructions that you don't have to use that one. So, my question is, why is it there? <laughs> so, so, those two are hard to get to. So, you would need to have, I just happen to have one of these long stem funnels. So, I'll use that to pour oil in. It looked like it was a little bit low, which may, they may do that normally ship it like that so I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to it all right I found out I thought this was a cover for it but it's it's actually a bag that you tie around the spout there and your chips are going there I think I'm gonna see what it'll do just throwing it on the ground angle it down towards the ground and make my own big pile and I can just do what I want with it instead of having to keep emptying the bag. And this is for, this chute here is for uh, bigger branches. They said like, you know, three inches or up to three inches. And then your smaller branches, twigs, can go in here in this one. And... So far, and the only other thing I've noticed, and I noticed this when we first got it, we hooked this up to the gator, which is fine, but that actually sits a little bit low, so you got to be able to pick it up. It's, it's kind of heavy to move, but it's, as long as you're on good ground, it'll be all right, but you wouldn't want to have it on a hill or anything. Um, I wish that was a little bit longer, but it is what it is, as long as it works good. So now I'm going to try starting it up and then we'll see what happens with it. Get the fuel on. Must be start there. Something I haven't done. Feels like it's binded up. There's something in the instructions missing. I bet you the wheel is locked. Let me check it out. Well, 
It seems we're just having bad luck buying mechanical stuff here lately. <laughs> when I went to start it, I'm not gonna try it right now, but it was buying, it just, it was like if the shaft was binding up. It wouldn't even, you couldn't even pull it, pull the cord on it. So, we're still not sure which direction the rotation is supposed to be, but looking at it right now, I can't, well, now it is kind of turning, but see how it's binding up right there, you can hear it kind of hitting metal. And it stops. And the same with the other direction. Right there, it's binding up. So something in here is not correct. So I'll have to take apart and work on it. <laughs> so check back in a little bit. And also, I thought at first maybe there was a, a bolt that you had to loosen up from shipping. Which still may be, I don't know, but I haven't seen anything. Sometimes they'll do that for shipping, so uh, uh, nothing happens to it. And then whenever the, whoever's selling it gets it, they're supposed to do something to it. I kind of loosened this up a little bit, but I don't want to loosen it too much. I have to tighten it back, because I'm not sure if that's gonna be it. There's nothing, I haven't seen anything in uh, instructions about like startup or anything like that. I'll double check that too. But it's looking like I gotta take this apart and see why I'm hitting metal. It sounded like it bogged down there. Just want to see if there's anything stuck in here. No, nothing stuck. Hey, that thing cuts them up and spits them out, doesn't it? All right. Well, I had trouble. I think what it just might have been a while ago. I think it might have been uh, 
and where it may have been sitting out so you had to be sitting outside and there was a little bit of surface rust on parts of it so maybe the shaft part in here was just binded up it was it was like it was getting caught on metal but what i ended up doing was just taking by hand and just kept spinning it around and around and eventually the pull string started engaging <clears throat> and then i was able to start it up so i was gonna put some wd-40 around in there but i don't have any right now so i couldn't find it so we'll do that as soon as we are able to so see uh, got an idea of what it could do there we'll do some more videos on it this was just to show you what it can do i had a few problems like i said i don't care much for the short uh where you hook it up the shaft to hook it up to wherever you're taking it to it we could hook it up it's just i wish it was a little bit longer and then the oil fill uh, it's kind of in a bad spot uh, you almost wish they would have had a little longer neck coming out uh, with the regular longer dipstick kind of like simulating a, like a vehicle motor but it is what it is and drain plugs pretty easy to get to they got one on both sides so uh, all in all so far other than the problem I had getting it started I think it's doing all right